Uh, right, gas. so boom. Sorry. Hold on one second, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Wait, did you know? Do you know some Somali? Yeah, I do. How? My neighbours. So when I, when I was living in West London, Shepherd's Bush, I right. grew up with a family next door to me of like ten men. It was about all right. So three brothers, <laughs> three brothers, three sisters, and my best friend out of all of them was Mohammed. Obviously, yeah. yeah honorable yeah, shout, yeah. Honorable yeah, yeah, yeah. shout yeah, yeah, yeah. out to Mohammed. Bruh, I don't know. Like, then we, they used to invite me in, and they used to give me some bread you peel and dip in the pa- in a pot of Stew. sauce or whatever. Sauce. Yeah, 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 Stew, yeah, 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 yeah. Banging. Yeah. To me, that's stoner food. <laughs> Let right me tell now. you something. Yeah, go on. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I knew, I knew Somali, and I love Somalians. Like I love oh, yeah, anything yeah. to do with Somalians. Same. They've that's been the chosen hard. people for time. Time, bro. <laughs> Let me bruv. tell you something. <laughs> Lula Just didn't even know some. DMX, P Diddy, all them men were bringing us vibes, but they were from pirate land. Right. Yeah. You know what it is? Yeah. We was made to believe that you lot weren't lit. Who started Until we them? started realizing, nah, you lot are lit. <laughs> nah, they're lit. No, you lot are lit, bro. That's what I've they're not from this planet. That's why they break the <laughs> name down. Some alien. <laughs> they're not from me, bro. They're chosen. Alien. That's true. Do My guy went to his fight. Sometimes, alien. yeah, when something so I lit, yeah, people will like. I don't know, it's like danger to them. Yeah. And when they when they are faced with danger, mm-hmm. then all of a sudden now uh, they react to danger with negativity with danger, yeah. and all yeah, these yeah, type yeah, of things yeah, yeah. and start spreading propaganda. Yeah. But you know what happens? Yeah. You see when you start seeing through the mist <laughs> and you look <laughs> around the other side. And, and then you, you start see Maya jammers. Right. <laughs> yeah. And chunks. You see and chunks in them, oh, man. What are you talking about? Guys, I love what? you. Nah, it's crazy. When you start seeing you. what's all around it as well, like, um... <coughs> Can I teach you one Somali word? Go on, go on. It's Sorry. a very good word. It's called Ka'ana Kutag. I don't know if you look at it. Ka'ana Kutag. That means you have my respect. I put my hand up for you. Ka'ana Kutag. Yes. Ka'ana Kutag. Yeah, that means you have my respect. Ka'ana Kutag. So what's your name? My name. Yeah, tell me. Like, who... Oh, hi. My name is Asha. Asha. But everyone just calls me Ash. It's so easier to just... Well, Ash is a very simple name, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone Ash. just calls me Ash. So, where did you? What area? What ends did you grow up in? I grew up in Wembley. Right. So there. I brought you here because you got an interesting <laughs> story still. Yeah, it's Ash, man, you're full of smoke. <laughs> yeah, this Ash is it, from. bruv. You know where the Ash came from. You get what I'm saying? No, what part of Wembley actually? So, are you near? Um, are you near like Saint Raphs and all that? Yes. How? Whoa! Do you follow me on social media? And my no, no, no. But obviously, I'm from West, isn't it? No, so if you say, Ra- do you know anyone around there? No. Oh, honest, I was going to say, no. do you know my boy Miles? Oh, Miles. No, I don't hang mm. around with oh, anybody. Right. No one knows yeah, Miles, man. No. Sorry, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <laughs> No one knows. You're fucking oh, no, no. But yeah, yeah no, yeah. I'm from like St. Raph's area. I hope it's not too close or too close. No, no, no. Are oh, you from the St. Raph's area? Yeah. <laughs> so like St. Raph's area. And yeah, it's just pretty chill. I mean, it's the ghetto, but it's not really the ghetto ghetto. Right. Like Halston. <laughs> I was going to say, Raph is the ghetto. Set of Raph is ghetto. Raph is ghetto. Saint Raphael's estate. So, eight, wait, eight Tays are from no, Saint Raph's. No, I don't Raph's. know. Where he's from Saint Raph's, isn't it? That's not Mars, Yen Yeah, yeah, he's from there. Um, Rashid's from Saint Raph's. Is it? I think Rashid's you from You lot are saying Raph's. these names like I know them personally. Oh, no, no, yeah, we yeah, Rashid's from personally. Rashid runs Link Up TV. But yeah, oh, anyway, but okay. You understand what I'm saying? Tays yeah. are three shots of tequila in them, man. I'm oh. banging at you, like. Yeah. But she you know, t- listen, we talk yeah. about the guests, but she touched the road, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you was put on the road. Yeah. So, like, obviously, like, I don't want to disclose at my age right. at this moment. Right, that's good. I'll that's tell good. you off camera. Right. Because I like to. I don't know. I don't want people to know my age. They'll be like, she did I'm madness mid-20s. and she's only 21? 20? <laughs> no, I'm, she looks I'm 20? mid-20s. I'm mid-20s. I'm mid-20s. mid-20s. Something. Just there, right? right? But anyways, about when I was like 16, oh, that's shoes when came off. Old. You know when the shoes come <laughs> off, right? When Chucky's shoes come off, there's a story He's going ready, down. Yeah, ready, let's go, let's ready. go. Sorry, Ash, go on. <laughs> so anyways, my, like, when I was 16, I don't know about you lot. You lot were probably in school doing things at normal. Pickable, bashing, do. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hello, wanking. Them yeah, but bed, yeah, yeah, trying to impress yeah, girl a lot of fun. That what normal teenagers would do but yeah. in my personal opinion when I was a teenager I was kind of like a bit troubled and it wasn't in a way like oh yeah I was going out to create problems it's just I was trying to have fun but I was getting into problems so like I'd go out with friends but then I'd hang out with the wrong crowd who would take me to parties all the time would bunk off school we wouldn't go to school at all like there would be times where we would put on our uniform right we leave our house to go to school. To pretend like we're going to school. Yeah, didn't you bunk do that? Did you bunk? I don't yeah. know. I, I went bunk. Pizza Hut and did the buff- buffet thing yeah. one day and just, re- and then we went Trocadero. 
Chocadero. Chocadero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone goes yeah, to yeah, times, man. <laughs> Brother, I bunked, yeah, one time. And then I thought... What are we like? We didn't think through the bunking, bro. We was just you in the subway. Well, we was in the subway, and then I was like, you know, fuck that, man. I'm going back to school. <laughs> that was dead, <laughs> bro. Like day. it was dead. You know why you realize how long school is on for yeah. when you bunk? Yeah. When you bunk. <laughs> yeah, I what, thought I was, 12. brother. I <laughs> thought I was in the subway, yeah, thinking. I thought I was there for hours, bro. Oh, you tried to chill in the subway. For we time. just tried to sit, yeah, just we just <laughs> chilled in the boring. subway, bro. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even have a football. Oh, but we on. sat in the subway. What are you man chatting about? Eight hours. Eight hours. People watching as well. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Anyway, it's just boom. a waste of your life. Do you get it? Yeah. So, anyways, now after a while, I start getting into like trouble with the teachers. You know, they started contacting my mum. They were like, "Hey, you know, you're gonna get fined yeah. if your daughter don't come to school." They start that. They start that. So, guess what I decided to do? Being what? the dummy ass sixteen year old I was, eh? I ran away from home. Bro. For months, I left home. As a 16 year old girl, right, I left home and I started, uh, me and like f- uh, four of my other friends, we started hanging around with these boys. We met them on E Day, Edgware Road, walking up and down. Right, Somali the... boys as well. <laughs> Somali boys. Oh, well, No, but everything, it was actually everything. Personally, in my personal opinion, it was mixed with everybody. Did you have brothers? I only have um, a few, two brothers. Only? Oh. Yeah, but See, they're, they're, they're olders and they're grown up and they don't live at home. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And they've got, got their lucky. own kids. Oh, is there a you big lucky. age difference then? Yeah. Yeah. Big you age brother? difference. Okay. You got lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah you so got like, lucky. Like so they years. weren't there when you were going through your teen years. Oh, see, there you go. At all. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I don't blame them. Obviously, they've got their kids. They're doing their thing and they didn't know. So, pardon me, I'm just going to cough. <coughs> I haven't got COVID. All uh, right, calm. Just letting you not know. Coughing next to an Asian is fine. I'm not coughing. Yeah, go on. So, anyways, now started hanging around with these boys at first yeah, it was all like oh yeah kids being kids let's laugh whatever whatever i swear to god i don't remember saying yes i want to start selling drugs i don't remember saying anything as the day started going on man said hold that hold this yeah see it there i told oh, man. did it start from i beg you hold this for me yes, yes. Bro, I, beg you, I beg you i beg you link man quickly because you're holding it, That's yeah. it. man i told you I, <laughs> Yeah. The That's how it starts. Psychologically. That's how it's, right. you are, Yo, can you just hold that? For, but talk me, talk through that. Yeah. Talk me through. through. So I don't, don't really, like, you know, I have a really good memory, if I'm being honest with you, but I don't remember saying, yes, I'm going to, like, as it is, I'm like I was saying before, before you know it, I am holding G-packs on G-packs on G-packs, yeah, right? Yeah. I am now in Maidstone. I'm not even in London. I've left London. I'm in Kent. Oh, they sent you cunt. They sent me yeah, but this is how easy it is. Were they funding you? So I was like, look, you want, look, if you take this up thing for us, look, yeah, we'll pay yeah. you, we'll pay you, obviously. But but that's how it is. It's, I think it's, it, like, it's, a, it's, honest, a, it's a way of grooming, like. It's, yeah, it is. It's I, a way of grooming. You know what, guess what? Sorry. No, no. That is one thing we need to get into afterwards. And I, I want to ask you guys' opinion on right, grooming well. after this, yeah. yeah. But anyways, now, they took me to Maidstone. And if I'm being honest with you, I was a dummy and I was a people pleaser. That's one thing I didn't like about myself Acceptance before. Thing. I just, I wanted people to like me and yeah. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be part of something, which was my massive downfall because I like, I have a big heart. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. <clears throat> so then one day we're in a house, you lot, I was trapping for two years. When I say to you, every Gang. day we're getting run upon. Every other day, somebody is coming to hurt us, yeah? Bear in mind, I'm a five foot four little <laughs> girl, yeah? 16 year old. What, you're in the bands? We're in, in the, the band, band yeah, yeah, What, yeah, in like, Kent these times? In time. Kent, so we started off at Kent first, right, yeah? So it's me. Wait, wait, okay, no, because yeah. let me tell you how I like my thing to run, yeah? yeah. I like painting pictures. Paint okay. us. So I, I want to see. Oh, we want to be there. I want to see, yeah. Chucky so, wants right, to be there. Okay. So now, yeah. you've gone, you're in Kent, you're in Kent right. now, yeah? Yeah. Talk to me about the yard that you was in. What did okay. it look like? Yeah. Uh, if you want to detail, you should no, I like I'm, the fact that you that's said that. That's my job. Like it's intricate, yeah. man. It's I like that. No, that's like exactly that. like how mm. I am. I like to paint a picture of like, yeah, especially yeah. if I'm talking to people. So you was in, yeah. But anyways, we got to the bando now. Of course, the houses are very, very dirty. I ain't gonna lie to you. I look back and I think, wow, you were a hot mess. The houses were very dirty. Um, when we used to go out and serve the customers, sometimes like they'll try grab things off of our hands and run away. Like yeah, greedy, bitty. I hear that just shit. try and grab greedy things. Bitty. You know with me, I never used to cab like take it, bye. Yeah, but that's see, this is the thing, yeah. Do you see them times there mm-hmm. because you're young and you're a girl, mm-hmm. the clientele must not have been taking you seriously of at all. Of course, course they didn't. Of that's course. free food. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I've rang the line and my man sent her. And I've I only got to act like a madman to her. Do you know what? Next time, bring six. 
<laughs> Next yeah. time, bring six. Can mm. I tell you? Anyway, it's that same maidstone, yeah? There was this one very toxic customer, right? You know what he used to do? I think the guy was just taking a piss. I'm 16. The other kids in the uh, in the band are all 15-year-olds, yeah? 15. Mental. I'm probably like the oldest there, isn't it, yeah? So this customer, we're in a block now, yeah? We're chilling in the block. The hotline rings. They call us. They're like, oh, there's a two-on-two outside. Da, 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 da. Cool. The, the customer came in a van, right? Parked up outside the block, right? What colour was the van? A white van. Typical Mad. white van. Oh, yeah. like a strong. Yeah, yeah. transit. Mm. Yeah, transit. Like Could have a logo on it? To be honest, I wouldn't remember, but it was just a white van with Neat. the, you know, the typical white van. Tidy. I think it was his work van. It has to be work van. Then yeah. builder vans, man, and quick ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Strong. Do you know what this customer done? He, the, the kid, yeah, that went down, went in the van, he locked the doors, and he was like, I'm going to drive you to the police station. <laughs> Give oh. me all your stuff. That's what happened to you? <laughs> to, Aye, boy, to, to the, the one of the boys. To one of the youths. To I was one shot of the in youths. It was his turn This to is called, down. them men are so smart, blood. Smart. See he a beat with like, yeah. like, yeah, listen, smart beaties like that with, He's, that have a job and they shit. They took the piss. So hold on, wait, one second. Trap the youth in a car. And Trapped said, him. I'm going to take you to, to the, the police, police station. If you don't give me, me, yeah. don't give me the food. What's he going to do? What's oh, the option? What's the mad, option? Uh, They're going to fight and then what? No He's respect. locked yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah, He's locked yeah. him inside. But weren't they ever fearful of the man who had was running That's the line? That's what I was thinking. Because more time, the person who's running the line mm-hmm. should have everything in order. With really. the clientele, yeah. But they yeah. do, but they do. But what you need to remember is they're in London, right? The customers are coming to us. There is a lot of hotlines they, they yeah. can go to. We don't know where they live. We don't have to ever see them again. If they take the piss, they just ghost. You're never going to see them again. That's just Get another it. shop to them. It's in just the another end. shop. There's another, another shop. shop. They don't true. care. And some of them, they'll come for like a week and disappear after they've done that. You know what I mean? Was you never scared? I was. Like. But at the same time, I think I had the heart of a lion. I think I was just like, you know, when you're just so that gassed teenager, you're just you're being told, ah, oh, yeah, we can do this. We need to get money. Da, 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 this, that, that, da, da, da. I just, I don't know. Even me, when I look back now, sometimes I don't know who the hell I was. Mm. If I'm being honest, was you, was you, was you? Did you have to be this other person to 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 withhold that role mm. that you? I think I had. had I put on a persona. You know, like that. So did you have that role chest. where you took no vial from any of the youngers? But they look, looked up to you as like. I got to that stage afterwards, after like a year of sitting in a bando, because at first I was in Maystone and all of this madness was happening to Maystone. It was getting too much. It was too much run upons. Oh. You know, one time I'm not joking. Well, like this was the scariest day ever. That's when I said I'm going home. I went home after this. I come outside the bando. This is not even a few months after this incident, right? The van incident. I go outside, it's my turn to go outside now. So with uh, Maidstone, there's not a lot of like black people that like, yes. there's, 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 it's just predominantly like, so far. Yeah, that's mad. Mm. predominant. So it's like the minute we see each other, we notice each other. And also with Maidstone and, and then country spots, they dress different to us. Mm, they, mm, mm. they dress a bit more, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but you could tell when someone's from London. Are yeah, they yeah, behind? Yeah. yeah. They're and like you 10 years behind you sketch. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. They're behind. And you would have stood out anyway because you're young mm-hmm. and you come from The only Wembley. person in the end is probably with Bunda. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The only I'm beautiful saying. East African girl on the ends. Yeah, exactly. They're thinking exactly. raw. So, and you know the maddest thing is, yeah? At that point as well, like, yeah, there must have been so many different <coughs> reasons for why you would have stood out like a sore thumb. I but stood out. Go on, you were and saying... It was just me. It was all of us, right? Yeah. And bear in mind, yeah, all of us, yeah, like I said before, it was like black, white, Asian, everything, right? Was you all... But, sorry to do this. Was you all yeah. in the same house? Yeah, 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 yeah. We all so was, what? There was like 15, 16 year olds all in one yard together. It depends. If there's like uh, three, four of us or five, maybe six of us would stay in one yard. Was you friends? But we'd split. We would split into teams of two houses, and we we weren't friends. We were just band of friends. Workers. The yeah. girls. The girls were my friends. Like warehouse. The okay. boys. We met obviously through this. Do you get it? Uh-huh. Yeah. So. And sorry, one last thing. Yeah, yeah. Was there an adult cooking food and? Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 they did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Thing. Is it a, chi- a young is it a rice with banana? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no chefs. No. no chefs. <laughs> It's just, it's embarrassing for me. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's actually nah, man. It was it's a toast thing. Nothing. So what, no food? You no, didn't we, <laughs> we ate, that made me laugh. Oh, we oh, ate, oh. you know. Oh, but okay. you know, we just go to the shop, get a crisp or something. Sure, okay. Not crisp, but a we young, get takeaway. Oh, you get takeaway, all right. Oh, okay, okay. Boost, a young boost, boost chocolate, yeah, yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Right, with these yeah. kids, one more thing, yeah, with these yeah. kids, yeah. yeah. Do they know, are their parents, like, do they know they've, have they told people they've left the ends? 
Like, do you speak to them That's on that question. level? To be honest, I wouldn't know. But so I'm you don't even like, speak to them on no, that level. No, I speak to them on that level. But like, I knew a few of them. Their parents did a, a missing report. Yeah. Oh, you know, like missing. We see that all the time. Like yeah. But they're obviously with us. You know what I mean? But right. I did. Like, I knew. But a few of them, I'd know like their personal life and stuff like that. But I wouldn't know to like to the extent where like, oh, your mum, dad, dad. Because like, then, how long? Like how long that. would they be there with you for? months right. this is what I'm saying it's yeah, crazy it's just, yeah. so this is why I wanted to get to this point yeah we I ended up going home because I got run upon when I went outside like that house that I was telling you I walked outside and I saw the guy he didn't look like he was from Maystone he looked like he was from ends he had Levi jeans G-Star War jeans you know like typical London swag right he looked so, current and then he had his <laughs> he looked current not old school yeah, you're current, right? <laughs> this guy is funny personally look current yeah. they're bad up there look old school yeah, for true up to date for? I saw this on the TV yeah yeah <laughs> yeah go on. go on so then so then I noticed his swag and then he looked back at me and I said do you know what my mind told me take the first left and go meet the customer like go left do like a little reroute you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying reroute your shit yeah yeah I swear to god I looked behind me I see two people running down the hill towards me. Do, 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 You know what? You're in so much shock. You freeze. I froze to death. I said, "Why are they running towards me? Who's in the house? Who's in the house?" They pulled out a knife this big, no this way. big. Wallahi, I never seen a knife that big. And I'm like, so basically, I started panicking, right? Of course. So I was like trying to, like, use my mind to make them sort of detour. So I was like, there's too many people in the house. You don't want to go in there. You're going to get into trouble. You're going to get into trouble. Don't go in there. Da, 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 da. They were like, oh, what? Who's in there? I was like, there's a lot of people in there. You don't want to go in there. Da, 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 da. Just trying to make them panic, innit? Mm. So they're like, all right, cool. So I thought I had it under control now. I'm like, okay. Big 16 they're gonna leave old, you know? <laughs> 16 trying to handle yeah, no, really? madness. <laughs> so I'm like, they're going to leave me alone. They're going to leave me alone, right? The customers must have saw, they called the hotline. And then the hotline called the boy in the house. The boy comes outside with a hammer. He's running down the hill with a hammer. Skinny little kid. He's like 15. And these are grown ass men. Soldier. Like 20 something year olds, yeah? Soldier. And I'm thinking, why are you coming? I'm it's looking at I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. They're going to kill him. You know what I mean? Mm. He's running. He's running. I'm like, run. Don't come here. They just turned around. They started chasing him. I'm, I'm like now trying to run after them and run after him, innit? Yeah. They chased him down and they beat him with his own hammer. That is so sad. But they no didn't use way. that big sword well, that they had. Though. But they, they didn't use They used the big sword for intimidation. They hammered yeah, yeah, him yeah. off. Yeah, they hammered him. <laughs> that is so sad. I don't even oh, laugh man, like that. That's fucking know? sad. How are yeah, they taking your own hammer? He's a little kid. They took yeah, his own course. hammer and, and they beat him. That's fucked. All in that kid's head was territory. I gotta protect the territory. Like they're right. told to just protect the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's not knowing that's that these are youths, fam. So yeah, so what? Then you came back to London, then. So I came back to London. This was roughly around like Ramadan times. I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna fast, and I'm just gonna go back to college and just fix up. Da da da. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. went that onto the strict religion route. Yeah. Or you just took it in more. Nah. Yeah, you just, yeah. You embraced I appreciate it in life more because yeah, yeah. I, I think I was. I was Man, then I go through yeah. shit. They embrace religion. Religion, you know? yeah. Fast, quick. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. The excuse the pun. But you know, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you yeah, yeah, saw yeah, 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 what I did there. Go on, anyway. <laughs> but then, anyways, now I came back to ends. But this is what I'm saying to you. Yeah, this is the reason why I like to talk about this is because people assume that oh, you know, you you are intelligent. Why did you put yourself through that? Why did you go back? Why did you do this? But the way I see it, right, once you are stuck into something and you feel like you are a part of something and it's your whole entire life, it's very hard to leave. Facts. I back. went home for Ramadan. What did I do? I went back again. You went They're straight back. They're calling me. They're calling me. I went back again. So these time you're a couple of years old. What, what made you go back though? Is it the, the money? money? The money. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the friends the money, as well. Yeah. These people became like my you got, like, you, friends. Yeah, you built a friendship kind yeah. of thing, like a little union. They, vibe. They, did they ever, apart from that time, did they ever like regret putting you in harm's way? Nobody or stuff ever, like that because you're saying they became your brethren so were they concerned yeah, no one ain't saying no that shit no that. but were they concerned now of putting you concerned in that they don't care. Oh, yeah. this is what I'm saying you cannot call nobody them is. friends yeah, I know They're but in, in hindsight like, yeah. they didn't in become your friends in hindsight yeah. you know that but in, at the time you think, think that they were no yes. they groomed the friendship there right. we go they groomed that whole friendship but this is why yeah like I don't care I'm on big big YouTube and I'm talking about it and nobody can come for me the reason why is because I'm talking about something that I personally felt myself 
yourself. Mm. And if there's somebody out there who might take some inspiration from it, but you're fine, man. You're storytelling. You're not people. saying no names. Yeah, well, I, you're storytelling. I never, I never told no names. Yeah. So, anyways, now I came back, but I was like, I'm not going back to Maystone because too many things were happening in Maystone. And that same guy in the van, yeah, he's a weirdo. He kept knocking on the window. We told him you're toxic. We don't want to serve you. The van guy. He came to the window. Oh, he came back. <laughs> he came back. He tried to ask for more. <laughs> he's Did they do that still? Hat. Yeah. He kept knocking on the window. <laughs> His hand went through the window. That's how hard he was knocking the window. Mad. So I was like, I'm not going back to Maystone. I'm going to go Ipswich. Move me to a different block oh, and then I'll come shit. back. Ipswich now, but yeah. oh, so you've gone out now. I've you've gone, gone out. I've left. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've gone Quay, Quay now. And I was just like, you know what? At first, it wasn't bad. First few months. Same old thing, you know got paid a little bit of cash here and there so i was like oh a few bags you know i'm seeing some money now things are okay. looking okay because i i complained you know what i'm saying i was like i've been how long i've been with you guys and nobody's paying me was everything running smoothly? you weren't even getting no peas back then like just a few little hundred like, go get yourself a tracksuit go da, 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 yeah, yeah, just yeah. Uh, that's what they do you know i right, go get yourself a little chain or something go get yourself some trainers this lifestyle before i understand uh, it i understand it. <laughs> oh i, I live it. we live in it man We're i understand it yeah, I understand fully. it, but yeah, go on anyway. Yeah. So yeah. So then they was the, so sick. I went to Ipswich and out. Then uh, you know how like there's always this like like system. So there's the ones at the bottom who are on the block. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's the middleman who holds all the hotlines. Like a triangle. Like yeah. Triangle, and then there's a guy right at the top who I'm sorry he don't do shit, and I said that with chest <laughs> he don't do anything, but anyways. The middleman that was holding the Ipswich line, right? He got into a madness with the police about arson case or blah, 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 I don't know. Anyways, he ended up getting shifted. So we're sat around for two days. Like literally, we're literally sat around. We're like, oh, why is the phone not ringing? Why is no one calling us? Bear in mind, we don't have any connections with the London team. We are the country team. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. So then my phone just randomly rings. Da, 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 da. Old Nokia phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Lyca. <laughs> Quick <laughs> Lyca. Yeah, 3210 and that. Strong. 15 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rings. Somebody's talking to me. I'm like, who's this? He was like, yeah, you might not know me, but I'm this, that, 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 that. Can you come to London and meet me as soon as possible? So I'm confused. I'm like, why me specifically? Me? Why me? <laughs> you know? So I jump on the train back to London now. Went to London. Met up with this guy. He's like, look, you're going to become the new middleman. Ross Clark. Ross. You're going to become the middleman. Right. They Queen start the seeing the boss in her now. You know what I'm the saying? Self, yeah, they start seeing the boss in her now. You know like, what I'm saying? What? You see how yeah. hard I was grafting with no money, in the bando. No, no, no. You push it. Yeah, and guess what? Yeah. I didn't used to sleep. You know that? That's how much of a p- team player I was. I'm not going to say I am now because I'm yeah. still a team player, but I ain't going to ever do that. Yeah, right? of course not. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Past So tense. he's like, I heard a lot about you. You know, you're, you're a hard worker. Like you're, you, you, you know how to work hard. So I'm going to give the line to you. I'm going to get you your own house in London. I said, what? My own flat? He's like, yep, yeah, your own flat, everything. I swear to God, there. This guy got Weak me. Weak in the I don't even know why I'm funny. Funny because it's not funny. Yeah, no, care. no. You could, you could always find the funny side of it now. I, I Trust prefer, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. You could always find the funny side of that. What? A big whole flat. <laughs> You're young now, yeah. and one of the big dons has given you the response. <laughs> It's promotion. It's promotion. That's talking about. Yeah, yeah, and I've got yeah. the. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I see this in films when a man just Come gives on. the bag of cash to a new apartment. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, this is the new. And you know, as well, in your head, yeah. you're not thinking that at any point this is. You can get caught, you can get. You, you know don't. what I'm saying? You, you just. You're yeah, you just yeah. in the thing. In any the moment mind, that you. Yeah. Any moment that you get where you think that it could get on top or whatever. It gets eradicated by conversations like, like that. that. Yeah, Do you get what I'm your, saying. Your, your hard work, your like, yeah. this, your that. So this is why the word grooming is so stuck in my head. I we'll don't get care. to that still. But anyway, so, <laughs> so I got my yard. I walk into the house. I swear to God, I have, they bought me a massive TV. They done food shopping at Asda's for me. They're taking care of their best worker. They need <laughs> this worker right I'm now, but the other one is in car seed. Yeah, yeah I'm telling yeah, you. They, they need that. They need the fulfillment. <laughs> they need that placement fulfilled. Quick, go, go I was so confused. I was like, food shopping, Asda, everything, big telly. He's like, yeah, look, all of this is done for this you. He's like, we're going to leave, uh, leave food in the house. I think this is when I said to myself, hold on a minute. How much food are we talking about? Right. 
How? Right. How? Are we like, right. are we talking about something that I can flush down the toilet? Yeah, are we one talk- ounce or something like that. Or is oh, it in a suitcase it, thing? Yeah, suitcase. Or in the walls thing. The ones where you, there was no way you could even get it out of the house. You no. know what I mean? Right. Oh, well, it looks that bait to get. That you understand bait. what I'm saying? And then it's I, in a block. Oh, yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> what, you moving yeah? already? I'm telling right. you. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah, on anyway. Gone. But I clocked on right that they wanted to leave money and food in the house that I was living in because nobody's going to treat you that special for nothing. For nothing. Blood, do you know what, know why they're treating for you nothing. that special? For nothing. Do you know what is in your possession? Mm-hmm. Their life their is life. in your possession. Exactly. Keep going. You are the safe to their safe. Keep basically. going. But then, am I safe? <laughs> yeah, right. Keep going. <laughs> am I safe? Keep that going. is the question. So anyways, now, they've started coming to the house every day and they're... I'm talking about numbers. People are just coming in and out, in and out. Bear in mind, I'm sleeping in this house, right? I live here, mm. supposedly. People are coming in and out and out, bagging up, chopping up, everything, you name it. They're leaving money under my bed, drugs under my cupboard, everywhere. The whole house was crack city. You ba- essentially, what it is now is, see that specialism that you thought you get in your own flat and nah. you could do food shopping oh. like, they were like obviously not in a disrespectful way but I they know. were mentally fucking you yeah. you know what's mad now you're just getting fully used yeah. when you're thinking that Washes. rah I'm anything like, I'm, goes I'm, I'm, wrong you're in that I'm important. it's my fault right you're thinking I'm important yeah I am important. I it? did feel important your, though. Right, I did. It's not I'm your line. To. Remember, it's not your line and it's no. not your food. It's not your connects, not your nothing. No. You're just in the yard. Yeah. You're just in the yard mm-hmm. and you're helping out and you're doing bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, you don't own nothing. You don't run nothing. Mm-hmm. But you see when the door gets licked Kicked off, it, yeah, 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 you own everything, everything. and you run oh everything. My Mad. Do you understand what I I'm saying? I love how Mad. you worded that. When the door gets kicked in, you, you own everything. Everything mm-hmm. and you run everything, and you run everything, right? It's under your possession, you are yeah. Yeah. until you set prove your not, yeah, that's right. it. Until Go on, keep going, different. So, I, I started getting a bit paranoid. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I, I started getting paranoid. I didn't want to stay in that house, it was in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and they were cooking and they were doing madness. And so, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna stay in this house. The guy was like, are you sure you don't want to stay? You can stay. You got your own crib. You got everything. They're still mind fucking me. I don't care. He's not a nice person and he's not a good person. And I will say that with chest. And if he's watching it, go on, do sorry to that man. Yeah, yeah, go on. Sorry do to thing. that man because clearly sorry, he didn't have any good intentions for me. Understand? Right. Go on, so do your thing. He trying to convince me to stay in the house. I was like, I'm not going to stay in the house. I'm going to leave. So I left. And you know what I started doing? Hanging around with the same people, but doing the same thing again, like hanging around in the local houses or hotels, or we had money at this point. Like I'm the middle man. I'm, right. I'm starting to make a bit of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got changed, you know, I got nice clothes. I got nice everything. Mm. And my friends are hanging around with me. I can book hotels, I can do whatever. So why would I sit in the house? So I left now, boom. Was After- it just your possessions that you left in your yard, like clothes? So no, 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 no. I took, you take I took it to my mum's house. Anything that I owned. Sorry, pardon me. I took it to oh, my mum's house. Yeah, you're sick. And you're I just started hanging around in different houses where I can move a lot. And I you weren't mind. as much in that yard as... Oh, even like if it's something that I can hold in small pieces, I wouldn't mind. But they want me to stay in the house with all that stuff. I said no. Right. Anyways, move on now. So, got to about... This is like the second year now. This is November. Uh, this is when I'm 19, right? I started getting arrested a lot. Like a lot. What do you mean? For? Investigation, a conspiracy oh. to supply class A. Oh, was you on Obo? Obo, yeah. Ma. So, pardon me, I'm just going to get Vaseline. My lips are very, very dry. Oh, cool. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. always mad when you hear someone say they're going to go get Vaseline. Bro. <laughs> uh, I don't lick my lips when someone says that. <laughs> <laughs> do you want some? <laughs> no, cool. Thanks. You guys want Vaseline? Have some. Because you know when you're talking a lot, your lips get a bit uh, choppy. I'm a Carmax one still. So. Carmax. Oh, Why? Do you not like the, the spice? No, I don't like the spice. No, nah, it just works for me still. So. Uh, everyone's <laughs> yeah. different. Everyone likes something. Go on anyway. H- hear this up now. So, <clears throat> we started getting arrested mm. for operations. So now they've started, because you know I'm the middleman, right? So my job is to reload the block. Yeah. So I'm going back and forth twice a day, once a day 
from London to Ipswich, London to Ipswich. What, carrying the food? Carrying the food. Man, on train or drive? No, oh, we had our own personal drivers. What do you mean? Oh, okay. My line was making 8,000 a day. Oh, right. 8,000 per day in the whole of, like, bear in mind. Was it the two whips? Was it, well, three whips? Was one whip at the front, one whip at the back? Convoy <laughs> <laughs> team. Yeah, that was what I was saying. No, <laughs> Looking like why? rappers. You lot, shall I tell you something? You see the boy before me, when mm. he had the line, right? I'm not even trying to brag or anything, but I have good work ethic. That's one thing that I like about myself. The boy before me, he was making 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Good day, 4,000 per day. Yeah. I was making 8,000 on the line. My customer Light. service. Lie. <laughs> what lie? What lie? I mean, I swear on my life. Mm. 8,000 per day. On a light one. Yeah, I hear Easily. it. Easily. We had to do two to three trips every day. I mm. had to have people come with me. <laughs> man, they're going to watch this and go, the fuck that, man. Call the man them now. We need to make 8K. <laughs> we are a little yeah. man in this thing yeah. right now. But go on. No, but the thing is, it was some Afghanistani drugs. It was he the heavy, heavy, pure, Afghan. pure things, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. But anyways, now, uh, we, we ended up getting into an operation. Where was that? At? Is that where was that? The operation part. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well. The, no. You was basically you were, you were, doing, saying, you were running drugs. You was going back and forth. You was moving the food from from here to yeah. Ipswich or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you were saying that you were uh, under investigation. They were on you. Yeah. So yeah. they were on us, right? Then. Um, yeah, but like before I was saying, because I started getting a bit of respect because your girl. Oh, this is why they were female, on you. Because they yeah. As a female, I was working hard. I didn't even yeah. sleep. Well, I, I used to sleep two, three hours per night. I yeah, said, yeah. I'm making money. I used to take, what, £2,000 per day to myself and I'll go spend it with all my friends, pay for all their cabs, pay for Crazy. everything. Yeah, just yeah. to, you know, just having fun, whatever. Living whatever. fast, man. Yeah, Living yeah. fast. I, I wish I saved it, though. Because yeah, now I look that. back, yeah, I'm we'll like. get to that. Go on. But anyways, now, got arrested. Um... What do you mean, no? Wait. In, like, what? Like Her lifestyle. Did your lifestyle? Where was no, you? Yeah, you yeah, the yeah, yeah, you're right. So, you're so right. where was you? You're you was in right. the whip now. We're in the whip. So on the way to cunt. Yeah, yeah. So, like, back and forth from London to thing, yeah? Yeah. The first time that they, they arrested me, they stopped on the motorway. There's this, like, massive roundabout as yeah. soon as you enter Ipswich, right? I swear to God. <clears throat> All you, all you see is we're trying to come into the roundabout 10 police cars well not 10 about 3, 4 yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, lights, lights get out, get out, get out, get out I'm like I am not coming with no drama I come in peace do you have food in the whip take at that me, point or no? Me. was there food in was the car the or no? yeah, on, so yeah, they so. found the money and they found the hotline of me so the hotline they trace it to everything text messages da, 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 da. the hotline is the main thing you know mm. then the second time they arrested me again and then they started arresting like so many of us, but they started linking us from different areas. I don't know how the hell they did this, you know that. They started linking us there. Eh? Um, so then what happened was the last time I got arrested, they didn't give me bail. They reminded me. They said, look, we're gonna take you straight to court tomorrow morning. And the court will decide if we can you know, get you bail or whatever, but I knew. You know when you just know? Mm. When the last time I got arrested, I was in a police station for two nights and I just knew. I said, you know what, I'm going to prison tonight. But in my mind, I thought I'm gonna go to prison for a few months. You know, I'm, I'm what, 19 now? Like, it's my first time going to prison. It's gonna be light work. Guess how long I've done on remand? How long? Please just guess how long I've done on remand. Six months. I was about to say that. <laughs> That's how it usually it's usually is. Six to like a year. No, it's six months. If yeah, you go not guilty, most, if you go not guilty, it's yeah. six months. Right. But I went guilty. The first go I could get, they showed me all the evidence. They had pictures of me just walking. I was hold on one second. Yeah. See when they got you now. Yeah. They didn't get you directly with food at that moment, but they got you on all the evidence that they built around Conspiracy you. Conspiracy to see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they took pictures of you in that. Pictures, yeah? everything. Videos, man. I'm talking about a file this big. What did they show you? Pictures of me just chilling outside, walking, talking to people. Pictures of all of our groups, with us not hanging. Me and my friend going to a leisure centre. But why? Shit. <laughs> but why? Did, see when you saw that, <laughs> yeah? Why? See when you saw them pictures of you in that? Mm and you saw like just everything that they had but you could actually see it talk to me about how you felt in that moment because it's it's a it's one thing yeah when someone tells you rah we know what you're doing and whatnot but, but see when someone shows you evidence. a picture yeah, yeah, yeah. and and you know that moment like rah man was just chatting to I'm my done. man in the van do you know what I'm saying yeah, so, yeah. like what what did that feel like 
was right. you coming up with lies in your head? You was alright with that? Of course, when you saw that. Of course, you lie, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, it, oh, okay. you, you lie at first. Yeah. 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 Like, but I, I think the best option I had a duty solicitor and he was like just go guilty the evidence is right there like most of the people in my case I was the middle man I want serving customers but the boys and the girls were serving undercover police officers oh man and it was linked to the phone that I had okay so the evidence was just right there her, and they yeah. caught me with cash my solicitor was like look it's, it's game over just go guilty and because you're young they're gonna you know give you a little light sentence but if you go not guilty all you have to do is you're gonna keep lying. You're gonna keep lying. You're gonna keep right. lying, so yeah. and you're gonna you're not gonna be able to. You, it's not possible. You understand? Right. You're gonna keep, put yourself in like boiling hot water. So I was like, I'm going guilty, safe. Strong. But when I saw those photos, yeah, I was like, you know, you, have you ever thought to yourself, how do celebrities not know people are taking photos of them? That's how I felt. Yeah, yeah. How? Do, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how did crazy, I not know yeah, that yeah. they was like? How, how did I not know they were there? Like, no, yeah. but how can like yeah. what? Am I that? that like in my own world yes but you are <laughs> you Everyone's are in their own when world. you're on listen this is the thing yeah like okay i think if you're highly skilled when it comes to that type of thing mm -hmm. you will be moving every day thinking Paradise. potentially someone is taking a picture of me mm -hmm. so i'm gonna move a certain type of way mm -hmm. but you know what yeah it comes down to like you know even Go with me. It might be a bit off, but I'm, like, I hope you understand what I mean when I say this, yeah? yeah? You know, like, you can't appreciate things all of the time, innit? Yeah. So it's like, you might appreciate something and you might see something, appreciate it, and it's fucking sick. Yeah. Then after a while, like, it doesn't have the same, the same thing effect. anymore. For whatever reason, it just doesn't have that, innit, yeah? And it's the sa almost the same with this because, like, all this is going on and you might be thinking, boom, yeah, I'm moving a certain way. Mm. But there becomes a time where you're so in routine and you're just, it's so normal to you. Yeah. You're not now thinking... Ah, like you, yeah, taking a photo and they catch me. you yeah, in yeah. that vulnerability, in that moment of you just like just, chilling, just that day. Chilling. You get what I'm saying? They ca that's when, yeah, that's when they but catch you. How long did they have you in Romana? now? Um, so yeah, usually it's meant to be six months, but they had me for a year and six months. That's mad. A year and six weeks. Six months. A year and six months. Basically, they kept trying to pin more people into the case. You know when they're trying to drag more uh -huh. people in? Yeah, so they were yeah, like, yeah. you guys went guilty. They the case you lot went guilty. Go rot in prison. Wait for your sentencing. We're going to go drag more people. So every uh -huh. other week, a new person's getting dragged you into our case. You see with the like, romantic? Yeah. Whatever you serve, don't they take that off your sentence? Of course, of course. So then that's yeah, all right. Yeah, so you yeah, spent yeah. a year in sight in Romand not knowing what's happening, not knowing yeah. about your sentence. Yeah, yeah. But it gets then they sentence off. you and then... It gets taken off, yeah. yeah for yeah. sure. But, but, but that's fucked to be... Lo like, it's locked because you don't know. Because you don't yeah. know. That's the thing, innit? Like you just don't know. get five, four, two, like eight, like... But yeah, so go anyways now I am now a year and six months in prison I ain't gonna lie to you after I went prison I started seeing things from a different angle to be honest with you I think this is where my senses started to really really kick in like yes I am clever yes I am intelligent yes I am mm -hmm. a boss yes I am this but what I need to remember is I am also vulnerable I can be taken advantage of I right. could be dead, dead, dead. I started to become a lot more wiser in prison right so and and i would see the customers in a different light when we was on the outside the disrespect that was shown to us by the elders the way that we're supposed to speak to them to me right now when i think about it i'm like that's actually horrifying like are you fucking up are you rich blood why the hell are you calling me every two seconds <laughs> yeah 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 that's abuse this person is paying you money for your service, I you know? know? It's not for free. You're not for free. It's fact. abusive. So I started seeing things from a different angle. And if I'm being honest with you, I came out of prison thinking, wow, the person that was before and the person I am today, that's two different people. And I think with age comes wisdom. I was young then. Yeah. 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 But you know, we didn't touch on the whole grooming thing. Yeah? I well, I wanna, I'm going to get to all of that in a bit, yeah? Because <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm going to yeah, end yeah, on yeah. that bef um, thing. Yeah. But Groom's how long how long, did, how long did you do, how long did you do? Um, so all together, um, I done two year four months. Two year four Jeez. months. All right, boom. In prison. In prison. In prison. All right, move. But because I want to talk about that experience yeah. though, I don't want to just skip. Like, do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Firstly, mm. like, what what do your parents think? Oh wow, I talk about this on my channel. I actually started having a mental breakdown on my channel talking about my mom because I feel like my mom done my sentence with me. If I'm oh, being honest with you, big up mumsy man. And it's I feel like it's not fair. Oh, yeah. right? My mom's very religious and very innocent and very yeah, well reserved, and she all cares about her religion and da -da -da -da, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So when she first heard about it, she was just like, 
how did you even end up here? And she was chasing me the whole time. She called the police on me countless times. Yeah, and said, if you don't come home now, I'm going to get you arrested. <laughs> Bro, mums will do that, you know. Yes, I'm telling sir, you. I'm gonna get you arrested. Let me say something now. Well, if they can't say it, can't get you. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing. Certain mums will be on the thing of, I'm gonna let you know. I don't approve of that. Keep that away from me. Yeah. If you keep bringing it around me, I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna do what I need to do yeah. for that to stop in it. If you're not gonna listen to yeah, me, yeah, do you understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Work. It's almost like when like. You could be cheating on your girl, innit? And your mum says, don't do that in front of me because I like your missus, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, bring her, if you bring another girl around again, I'm going to tell your missus. Like, yeah, 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 she's going to learn Mums will do that, innit? My mum would do but that. But that mum's help, that's mum's helping you out, though, really. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Our mum's yeah. are the realest Because like, you know mom, sometimes could... it's like, you think your mum's got your back whenever they will tell you about yourself. But in, in a sense, though, that is like, I could never bring, I couldn't, if I'm in a relationship, yeah, I know we're getting off topic quick, but if I was in a relationship, I can't, I couldn't bring another girl around my mum like that. I just couldn't mm-hmm. because as a woman, she knows what that's like to be in a relationship and someone do that anyway. Mm-hmm. And secondly, her having my back is is telling me, yeah. don't do that because this is how that would make that person feel. Mm-hmm. This is how it makes me, me feel. feel exactly. And this is the disrespect that you're putting in place. Do not do that. Yeah. Do you think our moms and are then, our best if you keep doing that, mm. then you're gonna have to feel. You're gonna have to know, innit? You're gonna have to know about but that. But that's what I said. So, your mum is your best friend. Yeah. She's so I wouldn't be friend. mad if my mum did that, but I just yeah. wouldn't do that she anyway. Would. But yeah, she anyway. called the police on me bad times, but I rate her because my mum is the realest best. You're tighter than ever now as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're actually best friends. Literally, the respect best friends ever. But yeah, how did it, how did it feel though? For like, me, for your like, what was yeah. Oh, they're actually so cute. You know what? Um, a lot of people were like talking about me. You know, the Somali community, it's like shame is a big thing. Mm. And people were like calling my mom. I'm like, oh, we heard. She's on Google. You know, I'm all over Google. So I'm like, oh, we saw her case on Google. Ah, da, da, da. And my mom would come visit me. Literally, my mom would come visit me at least once every week and something. And she'd be like, oh, you know, it's embarrassing for me. Ah, you know, you're my daughter. I don't want to tell these people. Stop talking about her. Da, 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 da. She's defending me and I'm the one that messed up. Yeah. Didn't leave. Oh, yeah. Right in the sentence with me. And sometimes, yeah, yeah. when I would call her, she'd be like, I was thinking the whole day today, were you going to call me today? I'm like, I just spoke to you yesterday. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, the whole day I was thinking, thing, yeah. yeah. She's like, I can't wait for you to call me. I was so excited to talk to you. I hope you're okay. She's like, are you being good girl? Are you being good girl? I'm like, mommy, I'm 19. I'm not like... Well, good. let's get you're to her that. baby, man. <laughs> yeah, let's get to that, actually, baby. then. Let's yeah. get to that, isn't it? Because... Yeah. Prison stories. Obviously, as a woman <laughs> or a young lady, you're in like jail with other girls and women, in it. Mm. Talk to me about what that was like. Pause quickly, one second. I just want to say I'm gassed here because not gassed too much, but I just had one of my best friends just come out of women's prison, in it. And so the story she told me, I only really know what to expect. So <laughs> take it away. <laughs> so for being on my bridge, man. Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. Wait, was it Downview? What? Prison, Downview. Which one was it? Cause I'm I don't even want to say, prisons. I don't even want to tell her that I'm talking topic. about her blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My but bad, my I, bad, my I, bad. You know, I love you, come on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm what her one was you in? So. Um, so first I was in Peterborough. Mm. Man. Hated it, I'd done the year and a half. You didn't ever go Holloway? I did, of course. I was going to say, that's the famous yeah. one, isn't it? That must have been where you was at last, no? I was there, but it got shut down. I was literally the second to last bus when it got shut down. Is it fuck there? and then they moved us to Downview. I preferred Holloway in my personal oh. opinion because I feel like London people, we just understand each other. We vibe with each other, you know? When I was in Peterborough, Peterborough is quay. I'm not being like a meanie or anything yet, but I just, I couldn't vibe with them too, too tough. What did you, what kind of shit was you seeing there? I don't know, just not my kind of vibes. We don't listen to the same music, we don't watch the same shows, we don't, I don't was it know, go, Did it go know? off in there though, like were, because sometimes I hear that like women's prisons can be a little bit more <coughs> toxic than yes. the, me- the men's prisons. Absolutely, as in like what, they're emotional. In, in, what, in what sense? They're very emotional. The emotions are very high in there. Like I, I'd, personally, I wouldn't say there's a lot of physical fighting, but there's a lot of bitching. I haven't seen a lot. Well, there's fights actually. There's actually quite a lot of fights. Nah, it I'm goes sorry. down. It yeah. goes down. I actually seen a few fights, but I think it's too much emotions. Me personally, I only had one physical fight. Okay, what was the maddest thing that you saw <laughs> while you was in jail? I don't know if I should say it. It's not PG. Say it, man. It's, it's not, not PG. You. I swear. No, it's not, not you. It's not PG. It's not PG. It's not PG. It's not PG. X rated. Just don't worry about that. It's half cast. I'm on the show. Wait, you know what do we do on this podcast? 
<laughs> what I was gonna say is, yeah, if it involves you, no. just create, just say it differently. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? So say like my brethren yeah, and yeah. this like A B, do that, yeah. But go. <laughs> Oh wow! Like, I have to think for a second. This is gassing me. I'll oh. tell you a different one. No, tell nah, me the one. one. That one. No, Please. no, tell that, me the that, one. That, 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 Please, too PG. Tell me the. Oh, we love it. Tell me. I mean, it's too X-rated. What are you talking about? Right, cool. Oh, this is gonna. I swear, my family are gonna kill me if this ever. It's not you. It's not you. Exactly. Family members. She's not her. You see when we watch films and we say what we saw. Yeah. It's not her. Go on, oh tell God, me. So oh, don't amp it up too much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kale, kale, so kale, kale. Kale, kale, yeah. yeah go on. Oh. oh God, these girls are very wild. Come on. Yeah. Wild, do you know what wild? I, I'm, I'm sure you could pick up go. what kind of wild yeah, I'm talking on. about. Yeah. <laughs> An officer took about three, four of them to segregation. I don't know if you don't know what seg is. Of it's course. A male officer. <laughs> Doesn't single. matter. An officer, yeah. they all got taken to segregation. segregation I know what that because is. Yeah. they were doing some freaky stuff. Doing what? Brother, like I'm sexy. I'm I'm like bananas. Oh, they were banana in each other. Mad. Yeah. Oh, it's bananas. Fruit. Yeah, yeah. Bananas. But, but I, get, I hear that. I hear it. Oh wow. It's and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> guess what? We all that's, do. That's, all people do. are doing that. That out here. I do that. I do that on a Sunday. Yeah, exactly. No, that's happening out here every day, okay, That's one of the five a day. <laughs> when are we being healthy? Not yeah. the five a day. Nah, yeah, go on. Oh, but there was a guy into town with the fruit. Yeah. And a group as well. Like, oh, what, in a circle? In a small cell. Oh, oh my God. Group group like summonings. That's in a do. circle. Yeah, that's quite sick. That's, <laughs> in, that's infinite. And you know what? Can I say, sorry to interrupt you as well, yeah. This is going to sound so mad. Yeah. But it's like, it's funny because it seems as though women in that dynamic are able to have that sort of fun with each other. I know but man them say. are not. No one's gonna like say man yeah, ain't gonna yeah. be every oh, yeah, five man. Oh, 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 <laughs> Here's a cucumber. You know what I'm saying? Blood, I, I, <laughs> try this grapefruit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try the grape. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Well, here's the apple. Try something creative. Oh, shit. Like, man ain't, yeah, we're not, tr- you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, we're not we doing. can't do that. That yeah. is a yeah, yeah, mess. But that's why men, is better off going to prison. But they're not better going to prison. But women, different. These women having a laugh starts, there, man. Man starts saying, "Here's the avocado," and I'm like, "Yo, I'm." Blood. <laughs> 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 then man hand over one fruit that ain't something to put something in. Oh, you give a man it's a, a long fruit. <laughs> you, give <laughs> a man, you, this? you give a man a carrot and he's like, "Bruv, that's light work, man." I give him, give him, I need, you understand what I'm saying? But yeah, but yeah anyway, <laughs> I'll sorry. eat the carrot. What you want me to have? Better vision? <laughs> 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 I can't put my dick in this. Go on, anyway. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, that so, are yeah. some wild stuff. Get like back that. to the story. They were freaky. Stuff. They were so freaky. Where was he at? You're the. So they, you gone to seg. You got. They gone to seg now. Boom. Yeah. So that's the wildest thing that happened. Oh, that's life. Is that yeah. the only wildest but thing you've seen? But there's fights that are really wild. Isn't like stabbings and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. but I, I haven't witnessed it with my own eyes. But you, you know, you hear, hear these stories like, yeah. oh, that person is, stabbed. Is the beef in prison like how man them have beef? Like he's from that area. We've got mad beef with each other, or the girls just have something to. They just see. They, they come to a disagreement and then they just don't like each other and that's what it is. I don't, I, to be honest with you, for me, it's like from my personal experience when I was in jail. Oh I my did, God. What? I kept it yeah, humble. God. There was no roads and we didn't have any of that. Yeah, 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 you yeah. could be from Hackney, you could be from Edmonton, you could be from Croydon, it doesn't yeah, matter. That's more of a man thing. Like. What yeah, was the prison that. like mm-hmm. when everyone was that time of the month? Emotional, blood, emotional, lock down now. <laughs> Fighting everything. Oh everything. my god, it must have been. Not everyone's mad, on yeah. the time. Not everyone's on that time of the month at the same time. But the thing, one thing I, I liked about no, myself. but they sink. Virgins can sink. Virgins can sink yeah. their periods. Yeah. Man. Sync? What does that you mean? You can synchronize. Oh, synchronize. Like your brethren oh. will end up having the same, same yeah, period time. as you, yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You look and plan it like, Both you and cry time. together and shit. <laughs> yeah. go on, but go better on. off crying than fighting, in no, my personal opinion. But um, apart from that, I, I I was bored in Peterborough, to be honest, for the year and a half. I, I didn't really like it. But the one thing I can say about Peterborough, they had like this little thing in place for the young offenders. I was on the young offenders unit. Wyo. Wyo wing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. When I got there, it was under 21, but then they changed it to under 25. But anyways, they used to do these things every, uh, like we had this room with like a PlayStation, karaoke, 
Only Sick. we had that privilege, and I think it was because they wanted to, you know, th- they know that we are young and impressionable, yeah, and yeah. they can sort of rewire our brain yeah. thoughts and you know processes and stuff like that. So that was nice. We used to have bingo on the weekend, but it was still it was boring. Well, of course, it is it's true. boring. And I used to look out the window every day, little bars. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't oh, wait to go home. Of course. So now, <laughs> yeah. So now, like. Actually, you come out of jail and that, and naturally, your the way that you see things and think about things has changed a bit now, hasn't it? Absolutely. So let's like let's sort of end it on that a little bit. Like what now in hindsight, yeah, mm-hmm. when you look about when you look at what it is that you went through mm-hmm. and stuff like that, yeah, mm-hmm. what what comes to mind? I think maybe I should speak on it more. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Yeah. I Expressing. feel like I should, yeah, yeah. I feel like I should talk about it. Yeah. I don't know. Because, you know, I have people DMing me and they're like, sis, I went through exactly the same thing. You lot don't even know. That's, I, you, we're talking about a fraction of what happened to me for a period of six years. Six Mad. years, right? Mad. Two, two. Since you was one? 15 or 16? Since I was 16 up until 21. You lot do the math. Yeah, 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 five. Five years, yeah, yeah. So, I'm like, people are messaging me and they're like, you know, honestly, like, I'm going through it now. I've experienced it. Girls play a big part in, like, the operations. It's mad, isn't it, Charles? Yeah, because ultimately, it is the thing of we feel, or it is felt as though mm-hmm. there's minimal risk. With, her, with yeah. dealing with you, yeah, I absolutely then me love you. giving it to another a boy or a guy, yeah, whatever. Because yeah. like, no one ain't really looking at you, really. You so even it. now, say if I've got something in the car or whatnot, and then I got a girl in the car, and then I get stopped by the police or whatever, oh. babes, hold that, stick that in your yeah, and when the thing comes, they're not gonna, they're probably not gonna trouble you. They're gonna trouble me. They're gonna trouble shit. Yeah. But then at the same time. I've put you in my situation when, you without question, you though? having to be Can in I that. Can I ask you a real question, though? Do you think this life is more dangerous for a girl or a boy? I think it's more dangerous think for... Think about it for a second. It's is for it a boy, more... man. You say boy. What about you, Callum? This but thing. it's like, the, uh, uh, if it's percentages, I say 70-30. So, or 60-40. So 60. No, 70-30. 70-30. The boy is doing a lot as well, man. Who's more in risk? Who is it more dangerous it, for? When you say danger, you're talking about... Yeah, but you can... Are you talking about the streets? Everything. Everything. What's the first thing? I, honestly, I would the probably say... It, yeah, probably a the guy. Because you know what? The likelihood is... This does happen with girls, obviously. But the likelihood is... Snitch. You're not even that. <laughs> but there's that, yeah, there's that too. But it's yeah. obviously getting run up on or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, the men are going to try to run up on man. Mm-hmm. Try to shoot man, stab man. Whatever it may be. Like, mm-hmm. they're more looking... You're more, when you're on smoke or you're on trying to find something, more time you're conditioned at looking at the guy. The main yes. guy. You yeah, get yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, even with that, yeah, it's not even, take this like streets and drugs and that all away from it, yeah. As a, say a Is man, a man, say a man just say naturally, as just outside, yeah, there's a guy, he's, you, you could be in a club and there's a guy, he's tall and he's well built and he looks like he can handle himself. A bunch of roadmen come in to the dance now, yeah? Without them even thinking about it themselves, they look at him as, who's my man? Mm. Like, is he the... One of the reasons why I've always been able to avoid smoke, man are not necessarily looking at me like that. (laughs) Because I don't look like that. Unless you see me in a dynamic where it's like, hold on, wait, why are you in... Like, whose yard did you just cut... Mm-hmm. Wait, let me see what you're. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But other than that, a man will come and see him and say, "Ra, who's?" And do you know how much times I've seen that guy get beat up for no reason? Mm-hmm. He's with girls. Yeah, he's, he's just, just chilling. He's on his yeah, own yeah, thing. Yeah, he's with yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. He's just yeah. on his own vibe. But because That's he's sad. he's built and he's you so, know what I mean, he looks like he handled himself. We are eradicating that now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. you add that to the to, to the road, it's the same thing. But also, mm-hmm. I think that you or a girl is like gold mine because mm-hmm. it's like if I can get you and not have to deal with the big Don this is easy food mm-hmm. what you're the one in the yard with all of that I could just run up in there and just I don't even have to make a scene yeah. I could just go in there and say oh, darling don't want to hurt you yeah I'm taking that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. that's what I'm saying yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It, I, I don't it's the alpha to, male I don't have to thinking. fight yeah, 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 I don't yeah. have to fight I don't have to take my I don't have yeah, to yeah. it doesn't have to be a big deal I could just run and just take it so but with that being said, though, 
I know there's a lot of women there's that, still risk there's a lot women. of women that are in that risk. situation and they're in it like the same way by default and they didn't even want to be in it mm-hmm. you know I, like, I remember I swear I watched something one time when the girl was talking about she was in her yard or whatnot, and she was seeing one brother the yard got kicked off and there was a strap in her yard and mm. she didn't even know oh on YouTube right yeah I I so I saw it, it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. was it for the culture yeah, I don't know yeah, I think I maybe there was channel. Channel. she's lit I like her yeah so like all of them type of things mm-hmm. and then as I said the example of being in the car and then a the man just says yeah hold this and you think oh, I'm like, I didn't... Yeah, it's mad. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> John, is that what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But um, it's fifty fifty then, right? Or yeah. are we gonna say more seventy? No, you well, go gonna anyway. be with What's your man? point? What's your point? I I personally think it's more dangerous for a guy because, like I said to you guys, every time we got run upon, they've always went. Sh- they don't even look at me. Well, sometimes they will. Oh, yeah. they yeah. bypass you, yeah. Yeah, but they don't look at me. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I feel like in a man's natural conscience, in mm-hmm. any man, it's like. You don't want to harm the woman, like you don't want. You don't. You want to bypass the woman. You just want to get to the the alpha male is to aim for another male. Yeah. What did you say? I want to tell what you said. I just said you would. You wouldn't. You really go. Yeah, it's like you don't want to put the woman in harm's way. Yeah. Because when when you tell man you hurt a female, that's like a you're making man feel weak. Like oh well, I I didn't mean to hurt a female. Like in my personal opinion, I feel like I'm still alive for the simple fact that I'm a girl. That's my personal mm. opinion. Right, right, right. Because be I've angels. seen people Talk get stabbed that. right in front of my eyes. Yeah. I've I've actually had to perform not not CPR, but I had to um, uh, rip my top. Oh, apply pressure. To I the don't room. know how long you have. Yeah. If you wanted to hear that story, but go yeah go. That is another traumatic thing that was I that in was that in Ipswich? Ipswich. This was in Ipswich. Go. This is just before I went to jail. Talk. So. Um, you know, there was a big group of us, so we had to split into two teams. So what we would do is we'll, half of us would take this side, about three of us, but another two, three of us here, or whoever can do it, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, now it's me and one boy, we're in one house, right? So then um, we had to switch sides with the other group. There's three of them. We have to switch sides because they're on the more busier side. They're going to come now to this side, which is lo- like not that busy. Man. Cool now. We're about to switch sides. We come out of the house. Yeah, I kid you not. Three people coming out on this side. Vroom. Another people coming out. Vroom. Vroom. People just coming out, people coming out. Hey, where are you from? Why are you here? Why are you here? But these boys, they had issues with the London boys. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're from Ipswich. Yeah, yeah. They had a massive issue with us. They of course, didn't like us. Yeah, you're in their territory, man. Thing. It's a yeah. territory thing. Yeah, yeah, they didn't like us for a long time. And they knew how we looked and everything. We were bait. Our faces were bait. So anyways, now, it's only just us two. I'm not joking. I think there was like five of them. Then they, I thought they were punching him, so I'm like, ah, everyone's screaming, right? I thought they were punching him like this. They're stabbing, man. I don't know why I couldn't see any blades. Because it's just a yeah, quick yeah, bop, yeah. bop, bop, bop. I like, couldn't see anything. Yeah, yeah. I could not see anything, right? So I'm trying to stop it. I'm like, ah, we're all screaming. Ah, ah, why are you here? Why are you here? So they ran off. It was like literally a two second altercation, yeah, right? So then I'm like, are you okay? Oh, let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here, right? I look at this guy, he drops on the floor. Mm. I think I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm panicking, I'm like, what do you mean? He's got blood. They punctured one of his lungs, they stabbed him. All this time I didn't even know that they stabbed him, you know that? Mm. So they punctured him in his lungs, right? And dirt got stuck in it. Was it dirt or hair or something got stuck in it? And then he was bleeding a lot as well, right? So I'm on the phone to the ambulance here. They're like, you need to rip your top yeah, and, and apply, all, pressure. apply pressure on all of his wounds. So he had a big one on his leg. And I think that's like, I don't know what that vein is called. The big vein. Mm. Artery. The jugular vein? What's it called? There's a big the, vein the, the in, ju- in our thigh. Oh, okay, mm. cool. My, my, yeah. Well, he you got know, stabbed in the thigh, in the femur. He got, yeah. he got stabbed yeah. in the thigh. So I had to apply my, I had to put pressure on that, put pressure on his chest, whatever, and I waiting for the ambulance to come. When I tell you, when we got to the hospital, right, the doctor was like to me, if you wasn't there, for sure, in a died. few minutes, yeah, he would have died. died. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He w- you've saved this boy's life. Yeah. Um, we're on the phone, to he's on the phone, Allah, alhamdulillah, man. he's on the phone to his dad, right? And his dad was like, let me talk to the girl. He's talking to me, he's like, thank you, Somali. And he's talking to me in Somali. He's like, thank you, Abdi. You know, you saved my son's life. Yeah. Da, 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 da. You, if he wasn't there, he would have been dead in a few no, in seconds. Yeah. So much dirt got stuck inside of that wound, Mark. right? 
even to this day, this guy, he's like, you know what? Like, I love you, man. You literally saved my life, man. Yeah, Real yeah, one. Yeah. I got you. You could have literally yeah. run away from me. You could have left. How old is he? Yeah, I wish you could have left. He's, I think he's the same, same age as you. Mid 20s. Yeah. Yeah. You must be tight, boy. Yeah, so he's, he's like, to me, you could have run away. You could have just left me, but you right. stayed there with me until the ambulance came and you took me to the hospital and you stayed in the hospital. I'm sleeping in the chair like that. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, like, I'm here. I'm, I got your back, you know? So that is another experience. But that was so traumatic to me. How did the London like, man take that? Because that's another madness that's But just do happened. you know the thing, yeah? I don't even want to talk too tough on these people because people yeah, say, we're going to do something about it. We're yeah, going to no, do something that. about I it. That still. But I don't see um, anybody... And I wouldn't want anybody to yeah, do something yeah, yeah. about it. I don't want anyone to Do you know, to you're talk, I'm not going to get you to do that. Anyway. I'll get you to talk about your own experience yeah, and all of that yeah. type of stuff. But that's cool. Yeah. But um, do you know what, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, obviously, you're a bit older in that, yeah? Mm-hmm. And like, when you... Because it's funny, like, you was talking about falling into the situation and not even realizing that you've fallen into the situation Mm -hmm. and i think that's where like that's where the grooming thing Mm -hmm. becomes a big conversation Mm -hmm. because you know what i will say this and this might sound like this might a lot of people may not understand this Mm -hmm. but one thing that i do get is when you come from a situation where all your surroundings is this is all you're essentially seeing. This is, you come from a certain place, this is all you're seeing or whatever, yeah? Mm. And for you, believe it or not, some people don't see this and some people don't because they're coming from a place of privilege, yeah? But for some people, that is their only way of being able to make money. Mm. And that is their, that's the way that they are conditioned to think, yeah? Kind of sad though. Which is a proper sad thing. Someone might then come to them and say, yo, I need it in, I'm low. Mm -hmm. Like, what can I do? I can't be mad at the person who doesn't know much different to turn around and say, come, I know how you can get that. Yeah, you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But the big issue that I always have is the, yeah, come roll with me, man. Like, what are you saying we're doing? Next yeah. minute, and you, just hold, you know, just hold that for me just quickly. Do you get That's what I'm the saying? And then next minute, now you're in country and you're doing this and whatever, and you're fully in the thing. And... And now you are aware of what's going on. You know what's going on and you just accept your situation or whatnot. But to me, that is a big issue. Even then turning around and saying, right, you can have a flat. Mm-hmm. You got to come, like, you got, you know what I mean? We look after you and all of that. Mm-hmm. You know, all of that is part of the mind fucking. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's so interesting, yeah, when you hear like certain roadmen, they talk from the most uh, high moral high ground yeah, in yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. how can this man do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, how can yeah, this yeah. man do <laughs> And it's like, hold on, one second, bro. <laughs> bro, your, your closet looks... Ma- when you actually deep it, when you hey. actually deep you don't want to address it. No, you, you don't want to address no. it. But your closet looks mad. Your closet looks mental. Mm-hmm. But you're talking from the most highest yeah mm-hmm. like nah bro like nah, 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 nah before when i was younger i used to think some of that shit was cool i had a lot of those things around me in it but when you get older you start questioning certain things and you start questioning certain man's moral ethics when they when they start questioning yours yeah. and you're like hold on one second bro no but certain men have morals but want to look good with morals it's they called just want to look so damn good with morals. like they want to keep their image too up <laughs> and then and then and then another issue is yeah is when they use that as the to thing get of being away, no manipulation no 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 they use that as the thing of to justify being real yeah like oh yeah like oh no i'm a, like you're this one's real. a real you're cat rude. Oh, you're you, rude. this one can't talk on that because you're not real yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. brother like that is this is that what, what you makes you yeah, is that, that what does it <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah we did di- yeah we're definitely different we are 100 percent different yeah. anything that i ever would have done or potentially could have done or whatever it may have been would have literally just been through something that i made i in my my own head no one said told me to do anything made me do anything or whatever it may be it would have just been something i'd have done in my own head and if if there was issues or complications or well implications with it that I would have just handled that however it may be. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I would never ever, whether it happened or not, use that as the thing to justify my um, my solidism, mm-hmm. that being solid mm-hmm. and being... Nah, that's, yeah, those are the things that, those things don't make you solid. It's those things don't make you solid. The whole life it's is a lie. It's a facade. Yeah, yeah. There's no realness. Everybody snakes each other. You're Everybody hates each man's other. Dream. Yeah, it's it, no. there's no realness, and that's one thing I learned when I went to prison. Nobody picked up the hotline for me. I was calling. <laughs> Fuck, <isn't laughs> Nobody it? was freaking up. 
They replaced me the same way they replaced the That's other guy. So <laughs> fuck. No, you know what it is? Can't make it no I one got gives replaced. A, yo, understand this. Understand this. Sad they don't give a shit that about is you. That's fucked, isn't it? You don't get, they don't give a shit fulfilled. about you. And that's the issue. Like, you think that, because especially when you're you're searching for love and, like, for, you know, some type of acceptance, you feel like it is. And then when you go, when you're on your own and you realise no one don't give a shit about you, it hurts even more because it's I like... Think it's, it was a lesson I needed. Massive. To, I needed, because I was a massive people pleaser. And massive. on the contrary, though, like, not to back them, man, but do you think that they don't stay in contact because it's... Like they don't want no. It's a business. They don't want yeah, but they don't want no. F- they don't want well, anyone having sad. their DLs that's or knowing true. that she's a mm-hmm. affiliated with that's man. True. No, and, no that's simple, true. a simple thing is a phone call like, "Hi, how are you? Are you safe? Are you well? Mm. Do you need some money?" A simple thing like, "Do you need some money?" That it's goes a, a long way. I just think I think with Mandem, yeah, they're so protective of what they have. Mm. They're like anything to do with feds mm. or ringing a prison to check yeah. on. They think. Anything that attaches them to that—that's the paranoia. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the paranoia. Out. Yeah, I'm I swear to you, that's all the paranoia. I hear that. In them. Strong, it's strong. The paranoia. I hear that. Yes. strong. But yeah, even. But, you, but, but you know you're right, though. Like, no, do you know what do. I don't understand? Right, as a community, if we was to hear somebody talking to an underage girl or boy, right, we're all gonna be like, "Oh my god, let's cancel him. Let's jump him. Let's Keep do going. this. Let's yeah, do that." Mad, yeah. Right. Keep going. But I'm sorry, you lot. Mind fucking a little child, a 16, 15 year old. You know, yeah, you lot. There's this thing in our brain, yeah, which is called the um, uh, decision making. Mm. You develop it around 21 years old. So you're out here talking to little 13 year old boys, 13 year old girls, 14 year old kids, right? With an oh, undeveloped come on the block. mind. Yeah. With an undeveloped mind. Come on the block. Come on the block. Why, as a community, do we not speak on things like this? We should step up and say, look, you know what? That's not right. And anybody who does that, let's apply the pressure on them. Mm. I don't care how big you are, how mm. gangster you are, how anything. Wrong is wrong. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So that's my question to you. Like, do you not feel that we as we, we as a community, we have that responsibility? Do you know what I from? think? I think, yeah, that we... I think it's important for you as a or us or for me having my brethren holding my brethren accountable for certain things when they are moving mad still mm-hmm. do you get what i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, like yeah. i feel like would that's you, what i feel like that's what makes a friend, solid friendship in it so friend if, you saw your if i saw my that. friend doing something mad i would tell him bro i may not necessarily sh- like air him out publicly mm-hmm. but, but we're gonna have bro, a conversation yeah, yeah, do you yeah, get yeah, what yeah, i'm yeah, saying like brother you're just supposed to know better than that. Do you get what I'm saying? Or whatever it may be. And we just, we do, we talk about it. Mm -hmm. But I think that that sounds like common sense, but it isn't really because not a lot of people do that. A lot of people, a lot of people have people around them and they don't even know who they've got next to them. They think that they do, Mm -hmm. but you lot are not having conversations really about anything. It's more the common denominator on this thing. Mm -hmm. And everyone sort of trying to play this role Mm -hmm. of what they think that they're supposed to be. Yeah, in that in that game, mm-hmm. and is, as opposed to just being themselves, do you get me? That that game's gonna be alive forever, yeah. Of so course. Say, that game's gonna be alive forever. So I'm never gonna say, "Yo, stop doing that." You're just saying, "Man, them, if you're gonna do this type of job, yeah. handle your business appropriately as, with oh, your oh, age, right? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 As, handle your got, business. It's not yeah, a thing yeah. of right. Yeah. It's not yeah. a thing of don't do this. It's but just do it properly. Do if it, I yeah, say, yeah. if I see my bro- my cousin or whoever, and he's got a yeah. 15 year old or whatnot, and he, and I know about it, I'm gonna say to him, get someone that's your age. Yeah, exactly. but, but, but I, as I said, I understand the situation it's of, easier if you to are, man manager no, if you are in well. a dynamic here, yeah, where you live in a certain place where that is just what you know, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah, difficult yeah, yeah. to gonna... then expect a person yeah. to, to move differently. differently yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that though, there's, you, you have to draw the comparison between, and but it's wrong, obviously we know it's wrong, but we don't live in an ideal world, yeah? Mm-hmm. You That's have to draw the comparison bro. between, uh, this is all I know, the you coming up to me saying to me, yo, I want to, I need a, and I say, yeah, I'll come in, yeah, I can know how to get you a thing. There's a difference between that and a man saying, yo, what, you, what, you kicking ball today? Yeah, 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 man, <laughs> fuck you now. Then the next day you come back and say, yeah, man, what's going on? Like, what's house family in there? Well, here's a tenner. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, and I've seen that. I, yeah. I, then it's uh, the youth then next minute now the youth good the youth's hanging because remember now you lot all in the whips by the thing the youth's hanging around you lot because you're the older and it's cool and the music's playing or whatever yo moving like you know I'll tell you what yeah can you 
sold out. You know what I'm saying? I Man. give you a. Mm. Aye. That's the and then it starts. To, next minute you know, next minute you're in Scunthorpe. Yeah. <laughs> In a yard. Cunch queen. Right. Out there. But yeah, learn um the stuff that you learn, you know what I mean? I I'm like I'm very happy to hear that you've left that behind yeah, you and stuff like that. Place. And so it's good that you talk about these things and when you do, always mm-hmm. talk about what you learn mm-hmm. and you know, the thing how it affected you mentally, physically, all of these type of things yeah. because a lot of people Depressed. will learn from that. But yeah, actually, I can even ask that. Mental, you know, I suffer your mental from really state. bad anxiety because of all the runner points and all the I have PTSD, PTSD, PTSD or something. PTSD, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I can, I can control my anxiety. Like I don't like to show it to people, but I have terrible anxiety, and sometimes I'm depressed as well because I think about like I don't know, just like sometimes I think to myself, why was I selling drugs to people? Some people have died yeah, because of me. Don't dwell on they the past. They died man. because of Gratitude. me. You know what go, I mean? Go, go. I didn't kill them personally, but yeah, yeah. I contributed to their death so there's certain things i think about which haunts me and i'm like oh, yeah it's i not mean the day today can we just have a good day today yeah, yeah. please but they they obviously oh they made a choice and yeah you did con- and obviously you contributed to it and i know that we don't like to look at it like that like we don't like to 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 do that but yeah they obviously made a choice to do it and i don't think that you should beat yourself up about that too much but i no. do think that like it's good that you have now looked at it and thought, rah, like, because mm-hmm. that's something that I, I thought about before where I'm like, hold on one second. Mm-hmm. Rah, like, look at what this is actually doing to a man's community and that. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, this is actually, when you start looking at it like that, you start thinking, rah, it is a bit destructive. And then you start thinking if, like, if this person, then someone else is going to do it mm-hmm. and, and all of these things. But you just have to, like, I guess you just got to go with... Talk about it more. Know. Just talk. That's. I think that's the... Mm-hmm. You know that I think talking is going to open a lot of doors yeah, for, for discussions. Right. For, right. for Words different are powerful. thoughts and... For Words right. are powerful. It's powerful, you know? That's why yeah. I'm on YouTube. That's and why I you hear people say, say it into existence. Yeah, yeah. Words are powerful. For sure. Honestly, I agree with it. Well, you got a YouTube channel. You just yes. started recently, right? Yes. I'm a subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a subscribe. Um, like, what is it? On. That's what's up. Queen what? Ash. It's very Queen simple. Ash, Queen yeah. Ash, yeah. Please... Yeah like be consistent i will you know I mean? for sure yeah. for sure you um, know my advice though go on. networking how do people do it it's people call it begging it it's not it's not it's networking yeah. network in america they call it networking just, reach out. just reach out you reach out man have, reach out. you don't ask you don't get look what happened you yeah. reached out to me like, i didn't bear in mind yeah obviously i get a lot of people that message me a lot saying that they want to talk about this that and whatever i'm a vibes person in it mm-hmm. you message me I saw the message and I saw what it was roughly about and I thought my vibe took me to it. So I thought, let me just bring... Uh, oh, on top of that, it wasn't even that. I went to see what you was doing because sometimes, like, you know, some sometimes a person wants to come on but they're not doing... They just have this idea they just want to just do it and it, there's nothing about what they want to talk about that I can see anyway. What's happening around there. So, like, let's say, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I want to I wanna one day bring someone on talk about stocks and shares and all of that type of stuff, yeah? And you I know I'm going to say, I want to talk about stocks and shares. I want someone to reach out to me so we can so you can come on the pod and do it. Mm-hmm. But I need some people to understand that. Like, if you reach out to me, I'm going to have a little look to see yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, talking, yeah, if you're doing... Yeah, yeah, and if yeah. you went, if I go on your page and, <laughs> and all it is is best fucking... <laughs> bear drip. Yeah, like, then... I, then That's not to say that you don't know what you're talking about, yeah, yeah, but I'm not yeah. going to waste the time, time yeah, to sit yeah, and have yeah. a conversation. You want to know that they're also invested in that idea you understand that they what brought I'm to saying? you. Yeah. What's your channel? Man. My channel? Yeah. I don't have a channel. You don't have a... He's just lit. I'm just lit. I'm waving. I'm feeling it. Vibes. But, um, <laughs> thanks for coming, um, Thank Asha. Yes. Right. Could just call me Ash. Ash. It's, it's very easy. Yeah. Very easy. Skits, you good? Everything. I'm oh, blessed, man. Thank you for having me on here, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, family. That was actually here. a lot easier and more fun than I thought it would be. Nah, man. Yeah. I've jumped at the opportunity. Yeah, I this, ran man. skits. I said to him, "Yo, I got this. There's a story. Mm. I think you should come sit down, mm. man." And it sits well with me, like I said, yeah, because yeah, yeah. one of my best friends has just come out of prison for doing a bid yeah big up her though big yeah up big, up her, her. big up her her son is my godson yeah so yeah. you know what i'm oh, saying so i hold it down yeah thing. like yeah so oh. when i heard about you coming <laughs> i'm like yeah man i want to hear more about oh. women getting incarcerated and going through these life big up, big tribulations. Big up, so. big uh, the up, question i always ask before we leave what is the one thing that people need to see or know about it can be anything it can be a youtube channel it could be a sock it could be a brand it could be a 
anything. It could be a documentary. It could be whatever. Anything. You know what I'm gonna say? My but go on, <laughs> go on here. Up. Go on. My channel. Go for it. My channel. My and it's channel. Called Queen Ash. Boom. And, that and why should people check it? I think people should check it because I am honest. I'm true, and I have a hilarious way of sharing a very traumatic story. Wow. So. Yes. Come on, yeah. getting her groove back. Ashley yeah. got her groove back. Come well, on, boys. Yeah. My thing, obviously, Capsule Collection, my brand. Right. It's out here right now. Naruto just dropped. Yeah, we've got more things coming. Right. It's a clothing brand. Mm. He's wearing one of them now. Ooh, but we merge. Nice. It's, it's a merchandise company, yeah? Mm. We merge like anime, manga, with sports, so it's just I made up the word merchandise. We just merged two <laughs> entities together, innit? Yeah, yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like anything nostalgic. So we're gonna do cartoons soon. Okay. Right. Anything yeah. we watch from young, we're gonna yeah, bring yeah. them to life, put them on the Simpsons. A, for do you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I man. don't even have anything really, but Chucky, is, play, Chucky is the hardest working man right <laughs> now. I got. I swear to God, Chucky, you're everywhere, fam. I got a playlist called. Um, oh, actually, I do have one. I got a playlist called um, Avoiding the Noise. Yeah, it's on Spotify, Apple, Code. Amazon and that. And it's just got the vibes that I... Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the point of avoiding the noise is it ain't got hardly any just typical bangers and that. Mm. It's just the vibes that I check for. You can play it on shuffle when it works, but you can also play it through from the top to the bottom and it's kind of like cohesive. Is this a personal like, so Chucky off, vibe It starts thing. off like the beginnings, like rap kind of vibey yeah. then it kind of gets into the more different style of the rap stuff yeah. then it starts getting more r and then it yeah. goes into the yeah, but is this an insight to yeah, yeah. Chucky Avoiding what Chucky is listening to <laughs> yeah that's all what I listen to that's what cold, I listen to the whip. cold yeah. and maybe the other thing is go and check out that pot of paper conversation I had because that hey. was good that was one of yeah I got one as well one. I mean, oh, YouTube, on. your YouTube channel is hilarious Chucky is guy, excuse me Chucks, mention that bro. Watching huh? that. Bruh, you're a national treasure, you nah, know. Nah, I'm working. We've got some work to do. I hear you. I hear you. Work you're working, but you... Hey. <laughs> what you got, Callum? A friend of mine, uh, I've known her for years. She uh, has a film out. It's sick. And it's just been admitted to the Sundance Film Festival, sick. which is like Jeez. a massive deal. Sick. And she's my age. She's a photographer, director. It's called Dear Philadelphia. It's about um, like three dads oh. like going through their battles in North Philly. It's fucking sick, and she's done an incredible job to get it to where it is now. So right. please, please, please go check that out. Come on, really, really sick. Called Dear Wicked. Philadelphia. Day long. Big up her. Uh, yeah. Big yeah. Oh wait, before we go, go if you ever want to know how to spell collection, yeah, on Capsule Collection is C O double L E X I O N. Find us, man. I'll put Capsule it in the, Collection. Yeah, I'll put it in the thing. So you know, yeah, it. me and him. He's only three days older than me. Exactly. Is it three days or four no, days? No, it's older? Uh, eight days. Eight days older. Oh, it's eight days. Sorry, eight but still, I've never had someone that close. Yeah, yeah. Same age and everything. Man. Big up December, gang. Huh? <laughs> well, you said Yeah, come on, my G's, my G's, my G's. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening, everyone. Yeah. Some people look at North Philly and they decide in their hearts that negative, bad people, with thugs, or whatever is from North Philly. It's not exactly true. But what some people don't realize is some of these people are trying to make it better. It's, it's like two sides to a story.